Hey, this is Brad Gill of Next Home Lifestyles. Welcome back to another market update for the city of San Jose. Let's dive into the numbers and see what's happening in the market this week. So while we start off looking at our active and pending numbers, active inventory for single family homes, condominiums, and townhouses, currently we're at 500 units that are available for sale. Uh, the first time this week we've hit 500 units or more. Um, kind of expected that number to be higher than 500 by now, especially with interest rates that have been heading up towards 7% recently, but we've just had no inventory available. And we'll get into that a little bit further on in this report. But again, overall, just really low inventory this year. Comparing it to last year in March of 2022, we had 471 units available for sale this same time. So again, we're slightly above that. And if we go back to 2021, which a lot of real estate professionals and a lot of industry experts are comparing us more towards that 2021 market, we actually already had over 600. It was close to about 640 units available for sale back in 2021. We're seeing a market that is plagued by low inventory, which is just creating a situation where home buyers are having to compete for homes available. Now let's take a look at the pending numbers. So this week we're up to 416 units, up slightly from the week before. Uh, that's 416 single family homes, condominiums, and townhouses within the city of San Jose that have an accepted contract in which the buyer's obviously working towards closing. If we compare that to last year, last year the same time we had over 800 units pending sale. That's why prices were so hectic in 2022. Look back to 2021, we had around 900 units pending sale. So there's quite a difference. Even though we have lower inventory today, our housing demand or the buyer demand is relatively even. Whereas 2022 and 2021 was definitely skewed. Way more people were purchasing than homes available. So even though we're seeing a lot of pressure on home buyers competing, which is causing multiple offers and prices increasing, it's not anywhere as crazy as it was over the last two years. So let's go ahead and jump into the trends and see what's kind of coming down the pipeline. What can we expect? So inventory trend, over the last seven days, we had 193 new listings come to market, which is down slightly from the week before. So we really should be seeing that number going up, not coming down. So again, I'm not sure where exactly the market's gonna head with that lagging inventory. Um, and if, again, buyer demand stays constant, then we could continue to see a very ferocious spring moving forward. Speaking of which, demand trend over the last seven days, we had 127 units going to contract, up slightly from the week before. So demand going up, supply kind of hanging out, same kind of thing. So it is going to be, or the numbers are predicting it could be and continue to be a pretty competitive spring for home buyers. Market expectations, 27 homes failed to sell over the last week compared to 23 the week before. Not a very significant number compared to years past. Uh, price changes, we had 75 price changes this past week, which is only 15% of the available inventory from past market updates I've explained that a balanced market is somewhere around 30%. We should expect upwards of 30% of all listings to undergo a price change. Right now we're seeing, again, half that. So it, it just shows that there is a lot more demand right now. Buyers are competing and sellers don't have to make as many price adjustments. And interest rates falling this week down to 6.60 from 6.73 the week before, which is great news for home buyers because we are starting to see interest rates retreating from 7%, which is where we were headed over the past few weeks, especially with the Fed Reserve meeting again this week. Speculation is again, they're gonna increase the Fed funds rate. So we should expect that long-term mortgage rate to continue to taper down for the rest of the year. That's it for this week's market update. Thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you guys next week for another fun market update. I'm Brad Gill with Next Home Lifestyles. Please hit the subscribe button and make sure you like the video.